Welcome to Sound Mojo. In this video, we're running through how to assemble the ultimate podcast kit for beginners. After deciding that you want to host a podcast, it can be tempting to jump right in with both feet before you even assemble any of the basic gear. Sure, you and your friends could easily crowd around a cell phone and unleash your most passionate and hilarious views. But for those who want decent production values, you're going to want to get a hold of some key equipment first. So if you're a beginner podcaster, don't go anywhere. We've got you covered. To help you decide what should be on your podcast shopping list, we've sifted through numerous websites and consumer reviews to present our five recommended products. And we wanted to give a quick shout out to the guys over at Get Mojo for helping us curate today's list. They have a ton of other product-based lists and unboxings over on their channel, covering everything from gaming gear to swimming pools. So go check it out. Link is in the description. Okay, first up, a solid mic and pop filter. Yep, the most obvious thing you'll need for your new podcast is a solid microphone. And microphones have never been so accessible. Take the Blue Yeti mic, for example. It simply plugs into your computer or laptop via USB. The Blue Yeti does an excellent job at capturing your voice with extreme clarity. It is a perfect microphone for beginners, and its USB connectivity makes it extremely easy to use. On top of that, you will be receiving professional studio sound quality, very solid build design, and multiple recording modes. If you want to kick things off with a more professional model, then the Rode Procaster Dynamic Mic is one of the best, relatively affordable options out there. Just be sure to always keep pop filters in mind when shopping, as these will help reduce any plosive sounds during recording. In fact, a lot of mics, like the Procaster, have these built in. A mixer. A mixer is just like a recording device, right? Well, no. A mixer or preamp is what you can feed the audio through before it reaches your recording device. It can help enhance your audio before it actually is laid down. It's kind of like an extra step in the production line of your audio, a step that dresses the sound up a little better and makes it more presentable. If you're new to preamps, then we'd suggest going for one with an easy to understand interface, like this USB Focusrite model, which is renowned for its excellent performance and ease of use. A recorder. Recording devices come in all different shapes and sizes, many of which are a little intimidating. But if you're a beginner and want to invest in straightforward, rock-solid recording equipment for a podcast, you really can't go wrong with Zoom's products, particularly something like the H4N Pro 4 Track Recorder. This device lets you record via XLR, and its interface is easy to understand and use. The Zoom H4N also has built-in mics and preamps, too, in case you want to save a little money when starting out. A podcast-friendly recording space. What's the use in investing in a great microphone if you don't record in an appropriate space? Ensuring you keep outside noise to a minimum, like street traffic and electrical appliances, is massively important. But if you want a crisp-sounding podcast, then you'll need to ensure that the room you're recording in isn't prone to too much reverb. Reverb equals echo, and echo just sounds unpolished and unprofessional. So you're going to want to get yourself in a room with decent sound and one of the things that can really help with that in a home environment is going to be some acoustic foam as you can see behind me here. And if you're doing a video podcast, it can also serve as a pretty cool background. Kill two birds with one stone. Before we reveal our final pick, here are a few other useful beginner podcast products that you might want to consider. Noise canceling headphones. A laptop or computer for sound editing a flexible microphone stand, a live streaming light and camera. Okay, so not everyone will be looking to film their podcast, but if you are, then you'll want to get some basic lighting equipment lined up. Basics like a clip-on ring light or even some basic LED tripod lights can do wonders for your production quality. Of course, you can invest in an expensive DSLR camera to film, but honestly, with some choice lighting, most smartphones nowadays can produce some pretty impressive footage. So, which podcast gear should you be prioritizing? Well, a mic and a recording device are your absolute essentials. With that said, if you're recording in an unoptimized, echoey room, no mic is going to sound crisp. So, be sure not to overlook soundproofing your recording space when it comes to host your new show. And don't forget to go check out Get Mojo for all your gaming, gardening, and gadget-related videos.